So this is the new £132,000 Aston Martin DB9. It looks good, it feels good, and boy does it sound good. So from the outside, the new DB9 is unquestionably a very beautiful looking car. But it's also kind of the next stage on from the Virage because Aston Martin have dropped the Virage and now this car takes on all various styling cues that used to be on the Virage, which are the front grille, the big carbon splitter down at the front. You also get carbon ceramic brakes on this car as standard, which justifies the price slightly. Those side strakes and the sills, the way they gel nicely into the back, they're all cues from the Virage and they all make the new DB9 just look pretty damn sexy in the flesh. And at the back too, where you can see very clearly that they've added this little lip spoiler, which just looks great. It looks really sporting and very Aston Martin, but it also adds to the downforce a touch, which is good. Inside the new DB9, they've made all sorts of changes, some of which are more subtle than others. The big news is that you get adaptive damping thanks to this button down here. So you have three different programs, normal, sport and track. You also have a sport button which crispens up the exhaust and makes the steering a little bit meatier and the throttle response a bit more urgent. That's a nice touch. And they've introduced a carbon fibre pack, endless numbers of options that you can have inside to um, spend more money on but also spruce up your db9 in the process all of which i have to say are very very nice touches indeed this car feels a million dollars inside on the move the new db9 has this lovely traditional gt feel you can tell absolutely from everything it does that it's rear wheel drive and front engine the way it's balanced the way the steering is just uncorrupted by anything else. It's a lovely car to drive, actually. Um, and it's also flipping quick. Power has now gone up to 510 bhp. So that's up there with where the DBS used to be a few years ago. And when you put your foot down, you really feel it. It does not hang about, does it? Not? Official figures are 0-60 in 4.6 and 183 top end. If anything, in the mid-range in particular, it feels even quicker than that. Aston are quite chuffed with what they've done with the brakes on this car too, because they're carbon ceramics. And the really good thing is that they've got the feel right across the speed range, and particularly at low speed, absolutely spot on. The feel through the pedal is just great, and yet the power, bearing in mind that this car weighs the thick end of 1.8 tonnes, the power of the brakes is immense. But maybe the best thing about the way the DB9 drives is that you can do this sort of thing in it all day long. So overall, 132 grand, is the new DB9 worth that? I think it is. I mean, for starters, they've rationalised the range a lot by dropping the Virage so that you now get V8, DB9 and Vanquish. That makes sense. But the great thing is, with the DB9, they've really hit the sweet spot because what you're getting kind of is a cut price Vanquish. And what is not to like about that? Yeah.